All right. So. I don't know. I don't know how I wanna. How I wanna hold this thing. Uh, uh yeah. That's all right. There you go. All right. So. As an artist, have you ever got scammed, bro? To the point where you didn't want to do music no more. Oh my God. Man, let me tell you, man, there's been so many times where, you know, people would hit me up and I would think they would be so, you know, loyal and real with you. And, you know, they come off as great people. And, uh, you know, they start up a conversation, they get to know you, you know, they say they fuck with your music, they might show you a few posts they post about you. And then all of a sudden, you know, they might be like, oh, I can get you on this. Yeah, I can get you on this. I can get for sure. What? That's nothing to me. Come on now. So, you know, you send you a hundred dollars or something, something over, and all of a sudden you block. You don't hear back from these niggas. Like, they know where to be found. It's crazy. These people delusional. Like, it's some people that'll come back for y'all. Like, unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. Maybe. I might be. We'll never know. Right? So, yeah, like, people, like, it's people out there that take advantage of a small guy. And, and, and unfortunately, I'm still a small guy. After a lot of music that I've put out, I'm still a small guy. You know, I'm still, you know, happy to be in the game. My love for the music hasn't dropped. But, unfortunately, for the people that are constantly scamming people, y'all are really, like, fucking a lot of people up mentally. Because, you know, we really think, like, Because if you think about it, we really think it's a group of people that have connects that could really push us and help us get in the direction that we are going instead of trying to get through all these big corporations and having to know people or, you know, having to spam and reach out to so many people just to get one person to respond back. Like, it's, it's crazy. So when people hit you up... You have this sense of like, okay, somebody's listening to my music, you know, because it's not like you've been doing it for, you know, a little while. You've been doing it for a long time. And once you finally get those people in your ear, you you kind of like amazed and you're, you're, you're ready to jump on the opportunity. But once you figure out like the opportunity is just a hoax, it's a fate, you know, your, your, your mindset changes and you like, damn, bro, like. Am I ever going to make it anywhere? Because there's niggas out here doing shit like this. And I really, they had me going. They took my money and had me going. I was, oh, my God. You feel me? Like, it, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's so many times where it's like you telling your family this finna happen. And, you know, you making posts about it. You spending money on, you know, like, you know, promos and stuff just for the end of it to be like, damn, bro, you got finessed. You got finesse crazy like a mother, like a motherfucker, bro. You got finesse because they took you for a ride. They had you telling your family. They had you telling your friends that you was finna be on, that somebody was finna put you on. You was finna be up there with the top 10, the top 100 charts, and yeah, all that. Man, life is crazy, bro, but you know what I'm saying? Luckily, it's still people like me out here that, you know, music is just a part of of life you know it's just it's not really a hobby it's just something i do when i want to do it like i don't even have to be bored to hop on music i don't even have to be not bored i can i can be totally doing something else and be in the mindset of music i'll be at work writing all day you know i could be literally dealing with a customer but thinking of a whole line in my head you know so music is one of them things like if you're one of them people you know It'll work for you as long as you don't give up. And that's the key part. Don't give up. You can't give up. Never give up because once you give up, somebody else come going to come in and step in and take your place. You know, and there's a lot of people out there that's willing to do that. It's a lot of dudes right now that don't even know that they can rap. But once they get behind the mic, they might be a game changer. You know, it's a lot of people out here that, you know, came up overnight because they didn't think their voice was that talented. They didn't think that they had it in them. It wasn't there, but people never know. Once you start something, you never know. It might be your destiny, your one way out, your one way ticket to glory. 
And that's that's just real facts. Real facts, bro. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, people take people for granted. But, you know, these be people lifelines. Like, end of the road. Some people, it's like football. You know, it's like any other sport. When people be in it for years and years. And they don't really do anything outside of it. And it's just that. And once it's over, it's over. It's like, what do I do now? Like, you know, I don't have no passion to do anything else. And you telling me for the next 40-something years I have to do nothing but sit on the sideline and watch the game I love. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's crazy because it's, 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 it's rap is like that. You know, once you, once you step away, bro, once you for a minute, a split second, your position could be gone. Your whole generation could be out of the, you know, one minute you might be a uh, top trending uh, SoundCloud rapper and you might step away for two, three months and a whole new wave, a whole new sound might pop up and you might think you can come on with the same bars. That ain't finna fly, my guy. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it's, it's life like that. So once you give up, just give up. Call it a rap Cause your, your time is over Your mindset changed You know You don't really want it no more You know I may I might have You know Gone off the rails on that one But still 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 Man Come on now Like It's crazy Cause uh It's a lot of people like Doing music in my city You know what I'm saying And it's not even a competition But it's like a competition You know it's like Not between me But it's like a competition of Who's gonna put the city on Who's gonna be that person To put the city on for music You know Gainesville has always been that place For sports and other things And you know Serial killers And stuff like that But who's gonna be the one To put the city on for music you know, we got all these Lake City rappers, uh, all these Tampa rappers, all these Orlando rappers, Miami rappers, Jacksonville rappers. But we have never really had like that, that real big rapper from Gainesville, like that, that top 10, you know, billboard chart rapper. You know, we never had one. And it's kind of a fight for that. Who's going to be who's going to be the one? I'm never really in that that talk, but you know, in my mind, I'm like, if it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. You know, we we all destined for something. You know, I just want to be successful at what I do. I'm not trying to be famous. I'm not trying to be ran up to all the time. And you know, I would love it. You know, to get admired. But you know, a lot of us can't take that pressure. You know, me being disabled, it's already like that already. Where you know, I take pressure from people asking me questions I don't want to answer. But me being generous enough, and me being that kind of person, I answer them. You know, because I never want to have people looking at me like I'm 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 evil or I'm just a guy they don't want to be around. And I feel like that's a personality that all people should have, not just rappers, but a lot of people don't have that. You know, and, and the world make the wrong people celebrities and they think, you know, because they see them on TV and, and they do these things for other celebrity people and they're around other celebrity people and they look happy that they can run up to y'all. You know, they can run up to them and it's like, bro, no, you got to understand, like, you don't know these people, you know, these people really have like personalities outside of the celebrities you see on Instagram. Like, you got to know the people that y'all putting on these pedestals, you know? You got to see what these people do outside of the cameras. On the other side, are they really hanging with family? Do they really have friends? Are they evil, nice, kind? Are they slapping people? Do you know, do they really pay their security guards? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, y'all got to really realize, like, Life ain't a game, but it's a game. Life ain't a game, but it's a game, bro. We all got to play it. We all got to play our part. Sometimes you might find a bonus piece and you might move up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might get dropped. You might lose the game and got to re renege. You know what I'm saying? So it's like play your part. Play your part. Find ways to get through the obstacles that make you your part. You know what I'm saying? If you're a, a civilian and you want to be a king, 
figure out a way to be a king. What 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 do you have to do? What barriers do you have to jump? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's me right now. That's I feel like that's everybody, not just me. But we're talking about me right now. <clears throat> So for me, that's how I'm feeling. You know, it's like I'm at the bottom and I'm not going to use me being disabled as, you know, me saying at the bottom. But I'm at the bottom as in I don't have like real contacts in this music industry at all. Nobody at all. Like none. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So for me to even for me to even be on, you know, an award anything would be an an amazing like amazing goal like to reach you know but unfortunately it'll it's gonna take a lot a lot of hard work a lot of hard work because i am a nobody trying to become a somebody in this pool of artists and rappers that's doing way more than me and has way more support you know and, and and following but Unfortunately, I feel like I have a, a bigger passion for music. So even if they do have a bigger following, I feel like I'm going to be in it for the longer run. You know what I'm saying? So it might not come today. It might not come tomorrow or next year. But eventually, you know, somebody's going to give me my flowers. Somebody's going to figure me out and be like, OK, well, he's putting in the years. He's putting in the work. Somebody go ahead and give him a shot, you know what I'm saying? And, and and that's how I want it to be. You know, this game is a serious game. It's not just music. People think it's just music and, you know, they make it. You don't make money off music, man. I can tell you that right now. People think you make money off 100,000 streams, you know, 500. You don't make nothing, bro. You don't even touch the money you think that they're making. Like at all, bro. Like, like, trust me. I've I've hit pinnacles in 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 over two million streams, and I thought I would have been like in a better living situation. But it's to the point where, you know, what I'm saying you gotta you gotta let that shit sit in there because you gotta use that as rainy day funds. That's more like rainy day funds. It's not like a lifesaver. You know, when you start making a hundred million streams and five hundred, that's when you touching bread, bro. Don't let these rappers with all this money and, and chains fool you, bro. Like, you have to really be touching streams to touch money. Or your streams have to really go international. You have to be doing something international outside of just, yeah. But streaming don't make you no money. You really have to, like, be getting paid for shows. You have to be getting, you know, booked for stuff. Like, paid stuff. You know, a brand, a merch, something. You know, you can't just be out here assuming because you got a video at 50,000 streams and, and, and 20,000 likes that you finna get paid bread. You know, your, your channel ain't even, uh, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even eligible yet. You still ain't meet the requirements for monetization yet. You know, so it's a lot of barriers you got to go through. When I, I thought, you know, my videos is going to get me some cheese and I was finna get no. They stopped that dream right there. Like, yeah, bro, you got to reach 10 million, 4 million. What? How is that possible? Who's doing that? People, kids, grandmas, grandpas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like really getting into this YouTube stuff. So, you know. I don't want to fall back, so I really started pushing myself to put out more content, even if I don't want to talk. I'm a real introvert, guys. Like, you know, it might seem like I jibber-jabber, but I'm an introvert. I don't like talking to people, but for the sake of me and for the sake of my personality, I push myself to open my mouth. I don't want to be one of them people that always stand in the back of the crowd and not say nothing when I have a whole lot to say. You know, I don't want to be the ones that miss out on friendships because I didn't open my mouth and and, and say, hey, I'm sir. So, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing, bro. I'm talking to you, rapper. Yes, you, rapper. You, SoundCloud rapper, who get about, like, 200 streams a month and, and three likes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking to you. 
Keep doing what you doing bro Keep doing what the fuck you doing Cause when you start realizing All the people that's posting now Not posting a year from now And you still posting You gonna be happy Like you gonna realize like damn Like what happened to them Did they just not do No it ain't just not do music Music ain't for everybody You really gotta have a passion to keep going You know what I'm saying Like if you really want it you gonna want it You might not want the fame You might not want the money But it's something in you that's, that's gonna want to keep pushing you Like Look at Andre 3000 Like he doesn't even Do lyrics anymore But it's just the fact That he likes music And he just wants to record something And put something down That he just does it And look what it's doing Like flutes This nigga, this nigga drop flutes on our ass And this nigga pushing numbers Come on now man. But that's him He's gonna get his love Cause he's Andre 3000 But that's him That's just the kind of person You gotta be in this music industry You can't just say you a rapper And be quitting every other year Cause you dropped a video And it went viral So you think you could just live off that video Like that's That's, that's, that's delusional It's crazy It's madness You feel me So I don't know what people got going on in this industry, but it got to be some more help for the little man. Like, we can't just keep relying on, you know, Spotify for artists, $100 campaigns that's not doing anything. Like, and then you do the research and it's all bot accounts. Like, I, I've done the research, bro, and it's it's amazing how Spotify will say, like, we're going to help you and then... It's just a whole bunch of non-live people following your account <laughs> and streaming your music. It's like, bro, like I've clicked on, I, I remember clicking on like 20 profiles and these people ha was following like two people. You had like two posts that was literally blank, you know, and it was like, damn, bro, y'all do me like that. Y'all do me like me. You know, and I always thought if you paid for promotion for or from the real people, from the source, then your, you know, outcomes would be more profitable, more real, more organic than any other source. Because at the time right now, Spotify say you can't even, uh, you know, you can't even pay for outside promotion and it's like okay well how do we promote our stuff if we can't really pay for outside promotion it's people like out here really and risking to promote your music you know what i'm saying like do we got to come to y'all because it seems like y'all don't really care for the small guy you got to be making millions of streams for these people to even recognize your music it's crazy it's crazy bro like i've i've i've, I've tried i'm still trying you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out this algorithm. It's all in the algorithm. Facebook algorithm, Instagram algorithm, YouTube algorithm. If for some reason, like once you find the algorithm, your stuff gets like hit. And trust me, I've had multiple videos where it's just like, you know, one day, 20 views and you wake up the next day and it's 3,000, 2,000 views. I'm like, okay, something happened overnight. It hit the algorithm. Somebody seen something and posted and that just took off. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and these big corporations, they really do, they, they, they do see it. They see it. You know, don't get them wrong. They see it. You know, when it's forced, it's forced. And a lot of people, when a song is popping, they will force a big corporation to push that song to the tip top, the tippy, to the tip, tip, top. You don't stop. You feel me? And yeah, it's like, you know, we force that. We pick the music we like. These corporations can't pick it for us. And that's what that's where support comes in. If your people can support you and push your music, you gonna get somewhere. And I'm trying to find that support. I got fans everywhere, and I man, I thank people so much. Cause five years ago, I ain't have nobody. I probably was making 24 views and streams a year. You know, my first five songs, and then all of a sudden, I took it more serious, and it got more serious, and now I'm here recording content for YouTube. I never thought I'd be in here recording a podcast, fucking vlog-type content for YouTube. You feel me? Like, it's crazy. What am I doing here? You know what I'm saying? I'm just out of my mind right now. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah, um, life is great, man. Life is Life is good. 
life is life is 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 ups and downs right now cuz you know you got to figure out a way to profit off this cuz if you don't you just doing it all for nothing basically if you really just doing it just to do it and you're not really putting your music out or you're not dropping videos or you're not really trying to do anything but just create bars in your head like just give it up and find something that's really really like gonna make a career out of you you know for you i should say so music is just one of them things like it's hard to do because you know it's a lot of people doing it so you might say something that somebody has already said and you might not even know it and somebody can call you a copycat for it or you plagiarizing or you taking somebody's style so it's one of them situations where your originality really comes into you know you really got to put it to use because a lot of people ain't original now you know a lot of people are you know influenced by other people and they're influenced too much so if you can be original, that's the biggest plus in the game, bro. And you might, a lot of people might call it weird, but I call it personality. You know, you can't walk around all day, every day with your, your face scrunched up expecting people to like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, have some personality. You might call it weird. Somebody might say it's funny. Somebody might say it's, you know, this and this and that. But guess what? Out of the whole bunch, you're going to be the person that get picked out, that the unique one. You know the weird one, and and that's 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 good. You know, you you're the odd egg in the, the the oh man I can't even say it. the odd egg in the bunch. You know so. Do you? I'm not here to tell you what what you need to do, what you have to do, but all I'm saying is, life ain't nothing to play with when it comes to y- your career, bro. Once you find it, make it better. Cut angles, cut cut anything to find a way to like make yourself better. There's so many YouTube videos online for editing and doing all sorts of things, man. I didn't put a whole starter alternator in my car by myself with one arm, bro. By YouTube videos, you can learn anything. It's cuts. You ain't got to go to school for it. You ain't got if you want to be a you know uh, established person go to school for it, but if you want to be an independent you know go to guy handyman type person man all you got to do is do it. Be hands on with it man that's it. Don't just look at videos also hop on it. You know that's what happened to me you know I didn't feel like paying for people for their studio forty fifty dollars an hour. Hell no, when I could just hop on the studio myself whenever I want to for free And I'm paying for my own utilities, that's crazy You know, and I learned myself, I pushed myself to learn Because uh, wasn't nobody going to teach me Man, you know how many years it's been I didn't hit up Guitar Center for the past four years For their little lessons, producer lessons And they ain't had one in over four years, bro. I've been wanting to learn, you know, like quick lessons, a hundred and fifty dollar lessons for a week to come in there and teach you how to do FL Studio. It's crazy, it's amazing, but unfortunately, no one's ever there. You know, it's always about help. It's always about support. And when you don't got it, you got to do it yourself. It's gonna be even harder, man. It's gonna be even harder. And I'm telling y'all right now, like, don't think this shit, Kate. Cake and cookies Don't think it's cake and cookies Cause you know what I'm saying You ain't got no milk to swallow it It ain't gonna be no milk at the table When you eat your cake and cookies Especially when you're doing it by yourself bro When you're doing it by yourself It's, it's, it's gonna take a lot of A lot of A lot of I'm gonna just say it like that It's gonna take a lot of guts It's gonna take a lot of crying It's gonna take a lot of fucking Hard work You're gonna do shit you ain't never thought you would be able to do You're gonna do shit you don't wanna do Like buying the camera And, and buying the light and, and setting shit up And recording for YouTube Like you're gonna be doing stuff like that And you're gonna start feeling comfortable with it You're gonna get comfortable with it Because you're gonna start figuring out This is what's gonna get you to where you Wanna be Where you're gonna be It might not be today It might not be tomorrow But the more you keep doing it The more you get better at it 
the more opportunities going to open up, the more your mind is going to open up and you just going to want to do it. Basically, you're going to want to do it. All that have to do it shit, that shit going to be out your head. You're going to want to hop up every day and want to make a video, want to work on a car, want to go to work. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you want to do, that's just going to be you. You're going to be stuck with you doing that for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? That's your career. Your career is, 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 that's what's going to make you, you know? So, you know, back then there were kings, kings made their self and that was their career. They were the king, you know what I'm saying? And why? Because they put their foot down and they did what they had to do. You know, you didn't hear about, you know, the other people around the king. You don't hear no story. You heard about the king, the stories of the king. Every story that was told was second person. You know what I'm saying? They were talking about the king. You ain't you don't know their names like that. You gotta put your you gotta establish yourself. It's your world. The king knew it was his world, whether he was born into it or not. You know what I'm saying? But it's your world. You a king. You a king, you a queen. I ain't mean to exclude the females, my bad. I, you know, I love all y'all. You're a king, you're a queen. You got to put your foot down at the right time. You know, there's other, I'm not going to say there's other, I hate to say this, but there's other people above you in your industry, especially when you're starting off as a rookie. And you got to just accept that. You ain't got to be a pussy and do what they say, but you got to accept you're the rookie. You got to put your foot down and eventually you're going to not be the rookie. You're going to be the one also giving charges and, and, and giving commands. But until then, your accolades got to be right. You got to put in the work. Nobody ain't going to look at you because you dropped one song five years ago and it, it, it might be one of the biggest songs, but it's been five years. Where to work at? You know what I'm saying? Your accolades got to be right in this industry. If you ain't put in no work, they don't look at you like that, you know what I'm saying? It's a art. It's a lot of artists right now that ain't never put in the work for real, you know. But they 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 trying to be around like they just top tier. But you not, bro. You just you just got the camera on you all the time. When you start putting in the work, the fans gonna start adoring you more. You gonna start getting that respect you really want, and that's what we going for: the respect and the work. You know, I already see it with a lot of people that come in the store. I already see it with a lot of uh, locals. They tell me all the time, like, hey, man, like, keep going. You know, we see you. Just put in that work. Keep going. Keep going. And I'm going to do that. So for the time being, I'm going to put in that work, y'all. Like, I don't want to hold y'all up because I ain't trying to hold myself up. But, uh yeah, bro, this was supposed to be like a trial run for this little YouTube shit, and I just went off the head with it, so I love y'all, you know, I appreciate y'all for sticking around, let's say, we've been going for a little minute, man, yeah, this ain't, this ain't even no podcast, I might as well start dropping podcasts, should I, nah, I don't, man, nah, nah, that's what I'm saying, bro, when you start being an artist, independent artist, you be wanting to do everything, every single mother sucking Thing, bro And that's okay Eventually you're gonna get help You know And eventually you're gonna be Where you wanna be So Do what you gotta do bro I don't You a grown woman You a grown man Do what you gotta do Do what you feel like You need to do Do it Don't let nobody tell you How to do it Cause you know how to do it You know how to do it Just do it I love y'all